In this tutorial, we will create a cool animated title in After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to name it Render 1920 by 1080. Click OK. Select the type tool and type the text. I'm going to type Modern. I'm using Integral Bold font for this. You can adjust the size of your font the way you like it and then align it in the center. Then I'm going to select the drop down for text. Click on Animate button. Select Position. Then click on the Add button, Property, Opacity, Add button, Property, Tracking. I'm going to set Position to 60. Then I'm going to set the Tracking amount to minus 150 and Opacity to 0. Then create, then open the Frame Selector 1 and create Keyframe for Start at 0. Go 15 frames forward and set Start to 100. Select these keyframes, right click Keyframe Assistant Easy Ease and press F9 as a shortcut. Go to the Graph Editor. If your graph looks different, right click, make sure you're in Edit Speed Graph. Select these points and drag the handles all the way inward. And that will give us a really snappy reveal like that. Alright, let's close this up and go to Layer, New Solid. I'm going to name this PG. You can choose any color you want. I'm going for a pure black. Click OK and drag this below the text. Now select both layers. Right click and select Precompose. I'm going to name this one First Word. Click OK. And then let's click here and enable Title Action Save to be more precise. Now select the composition, then select the Rectangle tool. And from the top, drag and select, creating the mask covering the top half of the composition, like so. Now select the composition down here and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And for the second one, uh, select the inverted box for the mask. And now we can start animating this. Select both uh, layers and press P for position. Then go to 15 frames. That's where the ward finishes animating. Create keyframe for position. Go one second forward to one second 15 frames. And let's drag this one up like so and this one down. All right, we're going to fix that in, in a better way. Now at one second 15 frames, select the type tool and type the second ward. So I'm, I'm going to type animated, animated. I'm going to select this and make it a bit smaller to 150 pixels. Align this in the center like so. And now based on this second ward, let's you know go back to those position keyframes and you know align them better, more precisely. Okay, so that's our reveal. Now let's uh, pull put this one at the bottom, the text. And go to layer new solid and again name this on bg make sure to choose the same color as with the previous solid that is important click ok and place this at the bottom below the second ward and select these two right click pre-compose and let's name this one second ward click ok and we're going to do the same thing select the composition here then uh, choose the rectangle tool and drag drag in you know select the top half of the composition again like so and select it down here, the second word composition, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and check the box for the, the second layer. All right, now we have a reveal like so. Let's uh, select the second word compositions, press P for position, create keyframes, go one second forward to two seconds, 15 frames. And now let's drag the second word up, like so, and this one down. And now, based on these two, let's go back to the first ward and adjust the position as well. Like that. And this one down. All right. And now, at 2 seconds 15 frames, let's select the type tool again and type the third ward title. And I'm going to align this in the center. And again, based on the third ward, we can always go back and adjust the, the spacing. So I'm, I'm going to adjust it a tiny bit. That looks better. Okay, now let's put this one at the bottom. Again, go to Layer New Solid, BG. Choose the same color of the solid. Place the solid below the third ward. Select these two. Right-click, Pre-Compose. And let's name this one Third Ward. It's good having every layer labeled accordingly to easily change it in the future. Okay, so now let's go to Layer New Adjustment Layer. Then go to Effects and Presets, I've got Transform, add it to the Adjustment Layer, then Effect Control, set Skew to minus 8. 
All right, so that's what we have at the moment. In case if you want to change the color of any specific text, you know, again, everything's labeled. So you go to second word composition, select the, the text and just change it to whichever color you want. And once you go back to the render composition, it'll uh, update automatically. All right, so now I'm going to add a secondary animation, like a simple zoom out at the end. So let's go to layer, new null object, select every layer except the adjustment layer and, you know, drag this parent pick up tool, drop it onto the null one to parent the layers to the null one. Then select the null, press S and go to two seconds in between these keyframes right here. Create a keyframe for scale, and go one second forward to three seconds and set scale to 90. Now drag and select all of the keyframes, right click keyframe assistant disease, go to the graph editor, then drag and select all keyframes here and bring the handles all the way inwards to create these peaks. Now you exit the graph editor and we can preview what we've done so far. All right, not bad. Let's add an actual background to improve the look of it. Let's go to layer new solid. BG. This time, this is the background, but keep it at the top though. Then go to effects and presets. Search for fractal noise. Add fractal noise. Then search for find edges. And search for tint, just to recolor the background. All right. So let's go to noise type. Set it to block. Contrast 200. Brightness minus 75. Open the transform. Set scale to 40. Complexity 1. Now hold the Alt key and click on the Evolution Stopwatch. Here type Time Asterisk 100. So this will continuously animate the noise. And set the opacity to 10%. And for the Find Edges, check the Invert box. And for the Tint, might white to any color of your choice. You know, just you're free to choose anything you want here. Click OK. And all you have to do is set the mode. If you don't see the modes column, click on toggle switches on modes until you do and set the background mode to screen. And now we have an animated background with the animated title. So let's go ahead and preview. And you can at any point change this really easily. So you don't want to, the word modern. So you just open the first word and you know change it for anything different say like uh futuristic all right i don't know why i made that up but let's go back to the render comp and now we have the you see futuristic animated title all right and this works you know with any word just change it just don't make it too big you know so it doesn't go outside of the composition okay and if you like this tutorial if you did let me know in the comment section down below thank you for watching See you in the next one. Peace out.